Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Clandestine report from European Investment Bank exposed As predicted, US-EU trade deal exposes myth of the single market European Parliament demonstrates democratic transparency in secret ballot Read them and weep, Eurozone lenders' bad loan book hits record levels Plus Cart horses and donkeys banned from Romanian roads likely to be the root cause for horse burgers. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up from our homepage. European financial policy continues its clandestine policy making in an effort to legislate control of the fiscal economy into its power. This short article is a fairly easy read considering it's from the legalese scribes at the Commission. It highlights the importance of maintaining AAA ratings but goes on to say that EIB should be based on an exant policy. The Wikipedia definition of exante is as follows and I quote Exante is used most commonly in the commercial world where results of a particular action or series of actions are forecast in advance or as intended. As I discussed last week, this article digs into the details behind this US-EU trade deal. Now remember firstly what Jean Monnet said in 1952. The nations of Europe should be guided towards a supranational state without their people understanding what is happening. This can be achieved by successive steps, each disguised as having an economic purpose but which will eventually and irreversibly lead to a federation. Experience shows us that every nation member of the EU began its journey towards assimilation on the back of the above statement. If we accept that, then surely the same mechanism is being executed again. And if we accept that, then we have a strong body of circumstantial evidence to support the arguments that suggest the United Nations Agenda 21 programme is designed to bring about a single world government. What are your opinions on this trade deal? Post your comments on YouTube or email us your views via the website. OK, take a look back at all the financial stories I pointed out over the last month. I said at the time the EU was seeking to obfuscate the fiscal policies of Europe with a view of centralising control of the markets for itself. Well, this article is absolutely red-hot prime evidence and you must read the article in full so you can prove to yourself that the EU is a collective dictatorship. Here are the key quotes to look for. Number one. Parliament will vote by secret ballot on the 2014-2020 budget. Quote number two. The vote is expected within three months as some 80 legislative acts accompanying the EU budget should be prepared in the meantime. And finally, politicians always do what they tell you they're not intending to do. Quote number three is from Martin Schultz. Schultz said that such an approach had nothing to do with planning certainty. <laughs> Despite the best efforts, sweat and the best printing presses in the world, Heidelbergs, Mr Draghi simply can do nothing to alleviate the increasing pile of Eurozone debt that has now reached record levels. This article takes a look at this situation and more interesting are the creation of straw men bad banks that will be set up to absorb bad loans. Legislation was introduced in Romania six years ago to ban horses, donkeys and carts from Romanian roads, a policy which was enforced very recently. Interesting then that we've had a national emergency here in the UK as our meat supply chain has been contaminated with horse meat, the source of which appears to be Romania. Check out the article for the full details. Today in our video library, Pierre Lelouch reveals strategic negotiations to open up border controls and allow free movement between Russia and Europe. Pierre has been the French Minister for European Affairs since June 2009, 
Before that, he was the president of the NATO Parliamentary Assembly, as well as France's special representative in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Today, his focus includes foreign policy, the financial crisis, and the Turkish candidacy to join the EU. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. And finally, here's an interesting quote I found being waved on a protester's billboard. The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Albert Einstein. I'm Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.